guys, welcome back to I Dream of Wigs. My name is Missy and I am with TL Wigs. Today I'm going to be showing you, oh my gosh, ah, I, I'm in love with this right out of the box. This is Ellen Villa's uh, Night. I almost wanted to say Drive. This is Night in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. Stick around and I'm going to go all over this and probably do some styling. So this may be a little bit longer video than normal. So that's your warning. So I purchased this from TL Wigs. I'm going to drop the link to our website in the description box down below along with the direct product link here tonight. Um, we invite you to shop and check out our website where everything is always 30 to 40% off. We do have shop pay at checkout so that you can pay interest-free installments every two weeks until that is paid for. And then there is also an amazing rewards program. So check it out. And then I'm also going to drop the link to our private Facebook group, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. This is where you're going to find all of your steals and deals, uh, giveaways as far as uh, gift cards, wigs, uh, one free wig a month for six months, mannequin heads, um, all kinds of things products you just need to be there so that will be in the description as well and if you're not already there then you need to hustle on over there and start having some fun with us it's a great bunch of people too so i think that you will really love it so wow this is just adorable to me right out of the box i have not done anything except take it out of the box and plop it on my head. I want to do a little bit of work with this one and see what the potential is here for this one because I've seen the pictures of the models, you know, um, on the websites and it looks something like this and there are some others that just look curly but what i am really loving is this small little fringe piece here that is just perfect i think this is the one this is the one that i have been looking for to just throw on my head and go so we'll go over this color really quick because uh this is my favorite color and i've done this color a lot Sandy Blonde Rooted is a medium honey blonde, light ash blonde, and the lightest reddish brown blend, all on a medium brown root. So you can see that rooting up there. Okay, so the cap features on this. This is a little uh, strange. It may be to you. It's not to me. It doesn't bother me one bit because of this. This... Um, has what they call a mini lace. And I will get up here and show you exactly where that little mini lace is. It runs from there to there. Now, why they put that mini lace there, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it really serves no feature whatsoever unless you want to pull that off of the forehead just like that now i am going to full disclosure here i watched um hey wig sister this morning denise sheets on this one because i knew that i was going to be reviewing this and i wanted to see what she said about it now she said that someone had mentioned to her that that lace front wanted to buckle up mine did too mine exactly did too um it just it just did not want to lay flat and i still am not sure if it's flat or not but you could see it before i even put it on my head and i was examining the wig and looking at it before 
applying it and putting it on, you could see that it, it had a curve to it. So what I usually generally do in those situations is I will get my water, spray it on my fingers, and tamp that down uh, before I put it on my head. And then whenever I put it on my head, I still am tamping that down. Yeah, I feel it. It's wanting to... Uh, it's wanting to buckle up. Not not sure about that. So what else is unique about this? It's not really that unique. Is it does not have any special monofilament features except for a mono crown that is right here. And that those are always so hard for me to show. That is just so that it appears that the hair is coming out of the scalp in that area so let's go ahead and do our spin all the way around and then we'll go over the specs on this and i will try and do a little bit of styling here and see if we can get some curls out of this i love this round look and this is the perfect length before i forget though i have added um some playlist to my youtube channel and i will occasionally mention if this is a video that is going to be a part of my playlist and this one is this is going to be in the description box as well there you will find all of my videos that pertain to the style that i'm showing so this one is going to be short and cute for warmer weather you will click that and it will give you all of the videos that i have done and added to that series so let's get our spin out of the way before i keep talking Make sure my tag's in. Go to the back. See that just rounded, kind of like little stacked. I love that. And then back to the front. Okay, so let's take this cap off and just show you exactly what I'm talking about on the inside here. So you can see it a little bit better. Here is this little mini lace front. I'm going to turn it to the side and you can see right there how it wants to curl up that's what I was talking about so again like I said I will just spray that with some water and tamp that down and then again whenever I put it back on my head same thing so here is your little mono crown right there this here is closed cap with no uh wefting on that there is a little bit of permatease in there it's not real thick and pillowy and then all around you have your open wefting the velvet ear tabs with the bendable stays we have an extended nape with the velcro closures and this is pretty stretchy this is from the uh, changes collection so okay now let's give her a shake like i said there's not a lot of permatease doesn't that kind of give you the uh tina turner or rod stewart vibe just like that i mean if i was to put this on upside down i probably would look like rod stewart <laughs> but here we go we're gonna put this back on I need a haircut to get my own bio hair to fit under these caps. My hair is getting so bushy in the back, and then we've still got uh, the thinning very thin up on the top. So here's just the shake, and you can see it's got that just kind of like little edgy look. I love that. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I had no idea it was going to be so cute. I may not need to put any kind of products on it. So right here is where I showed the, um, the closed cap, and that's where, like I said, a little bit of permatease. It's not... Uh, overly done so the specs on this this front little fringe here you've kind of got this longer 
and then you've got this shorter. That's because this longer is supposed to be back here. So if you just do this and then tamp it down, you can find that smaller. That is three and a half. The crown is eight. The sides are six. The nape is very short at two and a half. Oh, forgot this. Overall, this is about 11 and a half, 12 inches. And oh my gosh, so lightweight. This only weighs 2.3 ounces. Okay, so products that I use to uh, get some, you know, curl, some potential going with my wigs here. My very expensive uh, water, that's a joke, and then my wig wax, and my sea salt spray. The wig wax and the sea salt spray are two products that I cannot live without. So I want a little bit more, there's, there's not a whole lot going on right here. It's very, very thin and i want to also mention that and i think it's because of the style that this is these fibers are kind of dry feeling um i noticed that right out of the box that they just felt dry okay so i'm just gonna start spraying some of my sea salt spray just giving it some good scrunch peace out cream on these oh my goodness Some people think that I overuse the products. Um, well, you don't have to. Um, I do because I like to get a certain look. Some people have asked me, you know, what well, is isn't that bad for your wigs? No, um, they're made for synthetic wigs. Okay, right here I'm having a little problems, so the sea salt spray isn't working, so that's where I'm going to use my wig wax, and I'm looking into a mirror back there behind of me, or in front of me. Spray that, spray, and lift, and then let it kind of dry. Same with that there. Now, of course, if you don't want this edgy look and you just want to wear it as it is right out of the box, that's, you know, that's totally your, you can do with it what you want. I'm just giving you some options here. Again, sea salt spray. I'm spritzing the back. I noticed that the back had a little bit of more of a wave to it than the actual front did so i'm going to take a look it's hard trying to do this sometimes on camera you miss spots and there i've missed some so i'm just going to use some water on my hands water on your hands works great too then you can apply it and get that water you know exactly where you want okay so I'm not going to but on these cute little fringed bangs I will most definitely be using my peace out cream this is by John Renault another product that I really can't live without it's a molding um, oh fiber cream for contour and texture and sculpting this stuff lasts forever i mean i'm only about right here and i've had this for a long long time it lasts forever because it doesn't take much so what i will do is i will take some of that on my fingertips and apply that to this little fringe here and maybe even you know, these sides to uh, give it a more edgy kind of look. I 
adorable. I love this. I've been hit or miss here lately. I mean, I've been getting some that, you know, I, I think that I'm going to love it whenever I order it and then I put it on my head. We've all been there. And I'm like, ugh, that is not at all what I was expecting. I just wish that this right here wasn't so flat. So I'm going to take my comb. And kind of try to uh, fluff it up a little bit. Nothing too vigorous on your wigs. I mean, treat them, you know, as you would your own hair. Don't, you know, get in there and go full speed and, you know, really break that uh, permatease up. All right, let's give her a shake again since she's got this product on her. A shake. All right. I'm pulling my own bio hair down every time I put this on is what's going on. That's why I need it cut so bad. I went through a, whoa! <laughs> and you know, I'm laughing. I'm laughing hysterically, but <laughs> believe it or not, this is actually what I like. Oh my goodness. It may take just a little bit more work right here on the front. If I could get this right here to go back and stay oh yeah this is this is darling you've got these little pieces that could come in and frame the face wig wax on my fingertips like I said I love the back of this that stacked look and these fibers are just so very very fine yeah this this is cute to me so this is called night I think that this could take you well into the the day into the night you could wear this to work um, more sleeked down and then you know wear the same wig whenever you go out at night for dinner or some drinks and really, you know, get her, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Y'all don't know. I say that all the time. What's the word I'm looking for? Really get her your own, I guess, and, and kind of pieced out here. Again, not real sure of what the back is going to look like. It's just adorable. Love that. I know my husband is not going to be a big fan, but he's going to have to get over it because I like this one. Okay, so again, this is going to be in my uh, playlist series that will be in the description titled um, Short and Cute for Summer or warmer weather I'm sorry it will all of my videos will be in that drop down and you will be able to see everything you can do some really cute you know little styling with this um, pulling the, the sides back even a, a little headband would be just darling I think on this so okay um, I think I am done for today I still have two more Ellen Villas um, to do, but I think that those are going to wait because I need to get out of here and run some errands and wear my new night wig. So thanks for joining me. Um, like I said, check out the website and also our group. And if you could, please check out my good friend Tanya's uh, YouTube channel, um, Tanya's Wig World. 
I couldn't think of it, but yes, it's Tanya's Wig World. She wears some beautiful long wigs, and you'll get a lot of different variety from her, and she's really such a sweet sweetheart. So check her out, and I will go outside really quick just to show you what this looks like outside. All right, it is a nice sunny day today. Is this not cute or what? Oh my goodness. Or is it just me that thinks it's so cute? Oh no, I think this is adorable. I'm gonna need one in every color of this. It is adorable. All right, guys, have a great day, and thank you again so much. I appreciate all of you that was watching.